Here we are about two days after I poured that concrete and I just wake up to this crap. Very thankful I covered that up yesterday out of paranoia. And it's still coming down. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. Good thing I covered it. Here is the lumber we're gonna be using for this uh, shed build. Uh, was able to actually score all of this for 40 bucks, if, if you believe that. Uh, could not pass that up. Saw the cart with $40 price tag on it. I wasn't going to ask any questions. Uh, so we will be good to go with the framing of this. Pretty much the only thing I'm going to have to get still is going to be siding and uh, plywood for the roof on it. But all in good time. Okay, and here we are, uh, getting ready to uncover this for the first time since I covered it up out of paranoia because of the weather. And so here's all that. Get these clods out of the way. Mmm, <clears throat> soupy. Getting this all ready for our big reveal here. Looks like we stayed pretty good. I have most definitely seen worse. Nice and solid. Alright. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to bust me some frame off. Form off of this thing. And we got all of that, which actually turned out pretty good over in here. Quite happy with how well that filled in all of that along the edges. Gonna have a good footprint, because my whole goal with uh, having so much pour out like that underneath was to help keep grass and stuff away from the edge, just to work on keeping bugs down and stuff like that in there because we do have that that problem around here of just bugs trying to get into everything so here's one way to combat that and you can make it look pretty too and now I got everything mostly set up I'm probably gonna be running back and forth into the garage half a billion times getting everything else I'm gonna need for this uh, but got most of the wood ready to go. Got my basic measurements for how we're gonna wanna lay out the footing of all this. And here, here we go. Okay, and here's where we're at so far on this one now. I've got that header up and ready to go on that. I figured out my angle here for my rafters uh, that I'm gonna run on this. And I didn't film that just cause I wasn't thinking about it and I don't want the embarrassment. Um, people can laugh at me find my angles later. My angles usually suck, so it takes me forever to find them. It's just been a while since I've done them. Uh, really happy with how this is turning out so far. I 
I may screw, I'm going to screw the header to the wall the rest of the way before I hang any rafters up. Um, I may do that without filming it, uh, but I assure you rafters will be getting hung visually, so you will see them. all of these here on a two foot center so I'm going to use these as my guiding points instead of the ends there because I'm only giving myself about a foot either end so I'm going to use these as my centers and we're good to go from there Sorry about the wind noise, but here we are. A uh, bit of a victory walk over here on this. I am not working with some of the straightest wood on the planet here, but we are making do with it. I'm quite happy with this. 
Now on to decking, tar paper, siding, roofing, all that good stuff. Okay, I realized I uh, missed cutting those out and getting those put in. Sorry, my bad. But they are in. Everything is golden uh, as far as this is. Um, we are getting ready to get the decking cut for it. And as you can see here, this is going to be flush with this. Roof's going to come out to the edge here. Have a nice overhang that way coming around. Now we're going to get this thing decked. And I don't even want to go over. I just don't even want to begin. I can't even know where to begin on how frustrating the cost of this stuff is right now. This was 56 bucks for one sheet. It better be perfect. Now we are fully decked, and that is up there. I really like how that looks. Nice and solid all the way up underneath. Could not be much, could not get any happier with that. Made sure to give myself just a little bit of a lip on that, which I will come back by, come back through later on uh, with drip edge. But for now, we're just gonna be getting the tar paper up and we will go from there. Quite happy with how that's coming out. It's roofing time. So what I've got over here is uh, just a little over, a little under a square of 
uh, shingles here. Uh, I think I've got more than enough shingles for this. Uh, as well, we're going to be using some uh, emulsion tar there along the top where I've got this aluminum uh, metal there to run up along the edge at the top. I am going to try to come through with some drip edge uh, here in the future and make sure that this is all completely good to go. So, without further ado, here we go. Very happy with, with the work on this so far. Just about done. All we got left to do is side it and insulate and then run power. So we still got quite a bit to do. All in good time. So I'm sitting in here enjoying it after just getting the, the roof and all that done. And I couldn't be any happier with my work. But this is just the level of nerding out that I go. I will sit here in it, because, come on. And the best part of it is, I'm sitting on a camp toilet. served me well. Well, that's going to be getting replaced again, hopefully. cut it an inch too long. See, that's why you should measure twice. I thought I did. Oops. 
it's a 20, 28 and 5 eighths, not 29 and 5 eighths. I'm sorry. Yeah, five. I'm sure some people have questions about what I'm going to do for a door on this and so what I've come up with is I'm going to do essentially a barn door. There's going to be two doors that are going to swing out from either side and we'll go with that. I wanted to have a nice big opening like that so that I can get to the air compressors and service them, you know, change oil or move the machines out if I ever need to. Um, as well as have access for storage and things like that. And one th one thing I'm going to do with the doors as well is where I put my lag bolts in to anchor it down to the concrete here, I uh, didn't think that far ahead in terms of doors and clearance and stuff, uh, but what I'm going to do to account for that is I'm just going to make sure that my doors are above that and siding will come down to fill that gap uh, maybe do some form of foam or something in there to help keep bugs or something out but we will deal with that when i get there or as i like to say i will burn that bridge when i get to it Sighting is a little rough on the knuckles. Woo! Got the trim pieces up today, um, kind of, I can have those look on there, kind of gives it more of a finished look. I uh, don't think I'm going to really do anything with the gap on the door there. Uh, can't 
I don't really know uh, how I'm going to deal with that too much other than replacing some of this wonderfully straight lumber I was dealing with here. Um, what's left in here is insulate and get the power run so I don't have to keep putting that extension cord through the previously existing hole in the back of my shop here. Um, I'm going to be not using that insulation. I'm going to be getting uh, some 24-inch uh, wider stuff because, yeah, I goofed about the wrong stuff there. But we are all sealed up in here now. Uh, I just need to come around on the back edge on that and fill it in with some, uh, I'm probably just going to use some spray foam and then get all the, the remaining gaps like that out of there and stuff like that. But very happy. And then over here we got this side. I started running out of some wood there so I had to kind of cut that a little short. And I am not at all gonna cry over my gaps on this because I'm gonna fill fill in behind it with spray foam and I really don't care. It's a shed. It's not perfect, but it's mine. And then over here on this side, this side came out a little bit better. Which is good because it's the side that I can see the most. And then got all that finished up there, so. We have a shed, guys. And here soon, it'll be populated with an air compressor. Well, two of them. <laughs> 